So uh, I'm Argentinian. Uh, I have I came to the UK in 2001. My academic background is I have a BSc in, in economics, uh, masters in economics here at Berwick, and a PhD in economics. And I've done I've worked uh, a little bit in the academia, well a little bit for four years, and then I moved moved to the bank uh, three years ago. I'm interested in, in macroeconomics and I come from a country in which uh, we've experienced uh, a lot of ups and downs over the years. You know, crisis every 10 years and hyperinflation and so my, uh, my interest was developed uh, fr from them and, and also because a lot of the interesting research questions come from, in, in, my, in my view, from, from macroeconomics. That doesn't mean that uh, that there are very interesting questions uh, microeconomic uh, economists or econometricians address. But in my view, uh, in my particular view, uh, the in very interesting questions that everyone asks, you know, people in society and so on, are, are in relationship to 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 macroeconomics, to growth, to uh, to inflation, to the variables that are that are that everyone talks about uh, and and everyone is affected by. My main area of interest is, is macroeconomics. Uh, within that, basically, it's business cycles, so understanding booms and busts, and uh, and within that, uh, my area of expertise or research is, is labor market. Is the labor market? So I'm interested in things like uh, the transmission mechanism and monetary policy, and how, for example, labor market institutions matter. Um, uh, I'm also interested in understanding. Uh, why the unemployment rate is so cyclical, volatile, over the cycle. Uh, why is it so persistent in the UK, for instance, in relationship to the, to the US, and obviously trying to, uh, to, to understand the sources of fluctuations. Um, so I would say that recently the, the, the air, an area of interest has become Brexit uh, as well. So I'm, I've been working on that at the bank. Um, and so my latest research is, is also, uh, also has to do with, you know, policy interests. So it's very policy focused uh, at the moment. Um, I also have uh, developed some expertise in, in expectations, expectation formation. So most economic decisions, for instance, have to do with, uh, with what you expect the future to be. So if you save or if you consume and so on. And when it comes to hiring because of the long uh, Long, uh, long relationship that you have with an employ employer. The employer, when they post a vacancy, they have to form an expectation as to what the, the future costs are going to be or what the future productivity is going to be. And I saw these posters on, actually it was an advertisement in the, in the underground, uh, and I decided I wanted to, I, I, I actually my first, uh, what I wanted to do was really to, to do my MSc in economics and then my PhD, but because I was studying and I wanted to also improve my English and uh, not that my English wasn't good but um, but also but I, I had never studied in the language so I thought well let me have a go let me go let me take one of these courses so my first experience was through a postgraduate course uh, which I I basically took the classes but I never completed uh, but I, th I think the idea was that was just to get used to uh, you know the, the system studying in, in English and so on um, but the, the year after, basically, because I liked the, the environment here and I got to know the, the lecturers and, uh, a little bit, and I, I chatted to, to, uh, to a few members of staff, then I applied to the MSc, and, and I wasn't disappointed at all. I mean, on the contrary, I think the standard was really good. I got to learn a, an awful lot. I worked uh, extremely hard, and, and, uh, and obviously, uh, after graduating from my MSc, I confirmed that I wanted to, go to pursue my uh, the PhD and, and potentially an academic uh, career. Coming here was was getting closer to the to in a way to what was more what was current and what was at the frontier. Uh, and that I experienced at the MSc level. And I was just thinking, oh, I never studied this when I was at school. I mean, it's not that it's. I mean, because of my background, I didn't find it super super hard. But I still, I had to. Had to had to put in a lot of effort and a lot of hours to to understand key concepts that I had never seen before, 
Uh, and so that was the, you know, the, 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 the thing that I, I got most, uh, most, most value out of. My, the supervision here at the PhD level was, was a very high standard and uh, I, I was never felt, you know, alone. You know, I could knock on doors and, and chat to people and also chat to other PhD students. Uh, and, uh, and yes, yeah, so Berberg is a very welcoming place. Uh, it's very friendly, uh, uh, but keeping the rigor uh, as well. A lot of PhD students from, from Berbeck, they are placed extremely well in the, in, in the market. Um, many of my colleagues have gone to you know, very uh, excellent institutions, IMF, um, Banco de España, uh, and, uh, and also in the academia. And, uh, and they all very, they produce ex excellent research and publish uh, in, in very good journals. Um, and so this is something that is instilled in you when you're actually at Burbank. So, you know, trying, trying to, to, to do your best and, uh, and trying to come up with, uh, with interesting ideas, uh, writing, you know, interesting papers that people would be interested in later on. And, um, yeah. My advice is really, you know, come to Burbank. I mean, there's, uh, it's a, it's a very interesting place. It has very, uh, very, very good academics. They do extremely good research, and and uh, I guess they won't be disappointed at all.